What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I wanted to um, say that I appreciate you all. Um, if you saw my message, I'm extending my $20 readings for a few more weeks. Um, and I'm doing how do they feel spreads for all the signs. And I'm on the sign of Aries. So it's going to be a three card spread about the messages, um, how they feel, what they want you to know, and the best way forward. So I hope everyone is having a good day. What are the messages? How do they feel about the sign of Aries? What do they want them to know? And what is the best way forward? What are the messages? How do they feel about the sign of Aries? What do they want them to know? And what is the best way forward? So the bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords in reverse. So this person is not able to move on from you. Um, the Ten of Wands in reverse, I think this person's taking a break right now. They're um, really stressed, overly stressed out. So they had to take a break or a time out. Or maybe this is you. But since this is how they feel about you, then you have the Eight of Discs in reverse. So... Um, there's something that they're working on, something that needed to be worked on um, because of the lack of, you know, kind of maybe just the stubbornness of wanting to do things their own way, but something needed to be worked on. So maybe they're working on themselves. Then you have the Four of Wands, which is the reunion card. So I feel like they definitely do want to get back together. Um, they want to come back into your life. Um Sex about celebrating with family and friends. Sometimes it's a wedding. So for the table about the messages and how they feel, you have the judgment card. So I think that they finally had some clarity in their life about you or the situation. Um, so maybe that's what they want you to know is that maybe they're thinking clearer now and they know what they want. And I think that they're kind of waiting for you to um, talk to them. You have the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is the energy of kind of reminiscing, kind of returning from the past kind of thing. Um, then you have the Death card. So there has been some major changes, or maybe there is going to be some changes in this situation. Two of Wands in reverse. There was a stalemate. Um, then you have the four of swords. So this person's kind of resting right now. They're kind of um, retreating, kind of, you know, by themselves thinking about some things. Maybe they're just really stuck in their head about this because, um, you know, they're thinking about you and all the past and all the good times. And they're, I think that they're thinking clearly now. Um, where in the past, maybe they didn't really work with you. The three of dis in reverse. Um, then you have the page of wands. So there's definitely passion still here in this situation. Um, what they want you to know is they have the two of swords in reverse. There's a lot of, they're really confused about the situation. Um, they're trying to make a choice. They're trying to kind of compromise. Um, but they just don't have a lot of strength in this. They don't know if like they're really insecure. There's a lot of self-doubt. Um, they're doubting themselves in this situation right now, I think, because you have the Two of Swords in reverse with the um, Strength card in reverse. So I feel like they're they're really struggling with you know trying to um, overcome either the thoughts in their head or just themselves doubting themselves. And maybe that's what was the issue in the past where they weren't able to kind of um, have confidence. Um, Ten of Wands in reverse. So they are 
you know, taking a break. You have the Three of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Swords in reverse, and the, ch I think this is a Chariot. No, this is Justice in reverse. So there was something where there was some dishonesty. There was someone who was kind of um, out of control with either their actions or their words, um, really jealous. They probably... Um, they didn't really work with you. They were kind of um, sloppy with that situation. And then there was something that did happen. Um, just some general unaccountability maybe on their part. There could have been some legal problems, but there was definitely some dishonesty and some unfairness. The best way forward, you have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So coming into clarity about some things with the Queen of Cups in reverse. So maybe this person is... realizing that they were the ones that had the issues. Maybe they were the ones that were insecure and, you know, kind of emotionally unbalanced. Um, whereas, you know, maybe they had more than one choice in the past, but now they're kind of seeing clearly about everything. And um, they're really stuck in their head with the aid of... Um, no, this is the Eight of Cups. Excuse me. So the Eight of Cups is like someone leaving. There was some kind of retreating, something that they had to leave behind. Um, you have the Knight of Cups with the Seven of Swords in reverse. So trying to come back in and offer love after they, um, they're trying to make things right after whatever had happened in the past. So they do want to come in and offer this love to you. Just knowing that they're trying to make things right, maybe. Six of Swords in reverse. They're unable to move on from you. I don't think they want to move on from you. They're trying to make things right, but I think that they're just kind of... Um, their emotions are all over the place. Then you have the emperor. Someone could be a little bit stuck in their ways. Or maybe they're just kind of waiting on you to kind of make the decision. You know, the emperor is um, an authoritative figure. They usually have a plan and they um, are all about authority and determination and leadership and action. So I really think that they want you to make the decision. in this situation. Three of Cups in reverse, there could have been more than one person or just um, really not supporting each other in the past. Um, Ace of Swords in reverse. They're not really telling you anything. They're not talking to you. There's something they're not telling you. Or maybe you're not speaking to them because there was other people involved or whatever the case may be. Ten of Cups in reverse. So there was, you know, these feelings that everything could be really happy family, but it ended up just falling apart and it caused a lot of... Um, trouble or maybe one of you guys is dealing with your own um, family issues but it's coming into clarity with the seven of cups in reverse so I feel like whatever illusion was that you guys were under before you're coming out of it um, yeah and this justice in reverse keeps coming up so I think that they realize that they you know They're thinking a little bit more clear about everything that happened, and I think that they realize that what really happened. Now, um, I 
have nine of swords in reverse. So they're trying to come out of this isolation, but they're just not really moving anywhere. They're kind of standing still. Way too many cards. Lovers in reverse. Some of you could have been a Gemini. Um, some, some kind of breakup, divorce, arguments. There's definitely regrets here. Then you have the chariot in reverse. And it's like there's just a loss of direction. Um, maybe there was a lack of control. Um, someone just felt like giving up. Or maybe someone didn't give up because they didn't. There wasn't going anywhere. Then you have the Knight of Cups in reverse because of this emotional um, instability that this person um, had in the past. And maybe they didn't really know which way to go either. You guys are definitely dealing with a water sign, some of you. Or just a lot of feelings, either one. And a Libra, I think, but maybe a Cancer. person has a lot of feelings. Two of swords in reverse again. So there's a lot of confusion and indecision. So I feel like they're kind of waiting for you to make the call and uh, kind of make the decision. Let's see what your romance angel orca cards are. What are the romance angel orca cards for the sign of Aries for how they feel? How do they feel? What do they want them to know? What is the best way forward? How do they feel? What do they want them to know? What is the best way forward? Okay, so keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations for how do they feel. What they want you to know is that there's still a lot of passion here. Um, there's a lot of attraction. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Best way forward is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So that is all I have for you Aries people. Have a good day.